हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू हिस्ट्री क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेसन थ्री द अमेरिकन सिविल वॉर द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ द लेसन आर यू विल कम टू नो अबाउट व्हाट इज द अमेरिकन सिविल वॉर कॉजेज ऑफ द अमेरिकन सिविल वॉर आउटब्रेक ऑफ द सिविल वॉर एंड ऑफ द वॉर पीरियड ऑफ रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन एंड इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ एब्राहम लिंकन टॉपिक ऑफ द इज द अमेरिकन सिविल वॉर एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टूडेज टॉपिक आर टू नो अबाउट what is the american civil war and the causes of the american civil war there are many causes of the american civil war but today we will discuss the first three causes it includes conflicting economic interest the issue of tariff and states rights before discussing about the american civil war and its causes let us discuss the new terms related to today's topic new words war a conflict between different countries or different groups within a country civil war a war between the citizens of the same country union a group of states that are ruled by one government or that agree to work together disaster an event which causes great damage or loss of life industries a place where raw material is converted into a finished or final product slave a person who is the legal property of another and that is forced to obey them tariff tax paid on import or export now just have a look on this map this was the map of united states of america during the american civil war first of all we will be talking about the northern and the southern states the states you can see with the green these all were the northern states and these were the free states free states means the states in which slavery did not exist and the states you can see with the orange these all were the southern states and these were the slave states slave states means the states where slavery existed the first question arises what is the american civil war civil war is also called the war between the states of a country and this war was between the northern and the southern states of america and it was fought between 1861 to 1865 means this is a time period of the american civil war the states of the north collided against the states of the south and it was the biggest conflict in the history of america in the civil war more than 3000 battles were fought between the armies of the northern and the southern states more than 6 lakhs americans died about 15 lakhs were injured and displaced and this was the biggest challenge to the integration of america during the civil war it was like that you got removed from usa only sa was left sa means states of america was left because unity was no more over there now let us start the reading a war which is fought between the citizens of the same country is called a civil war citizens means persons who were born and live in a particular country a civil war was fought between the northern and the southern states of america too now let us discuss what were the main reasons or the causes of this american civil war and why this war took place earlier we had talked about the american revolution and during the american revolution the 13 colonies were under the british rule and on july 4 1776 declaration of independence was adopted and according to that the 13 colonies became independent these 13 colonies became independent and by 1789 new constitution was formed and new american union of 13 states came into existence union means a group of states that are ruled by one government or that agree to work together and george washington was elected as the first president of the union but in 1789 many of the people accepted the constitution but didn't accept the union that means some of the states rejected the union once democracy was established in usa people look forward to economic progress and expansion of settlement areas the beginning of 19th century saw westward expansion of the united states and industrial development at a large scale 
The very progress of economic growth and physical expansion provoked that could be resolved only by civil war. So, a civil war took place and it was fought between the northern and the southern states. The war was started in 1861 and ended in 1865. The southern states of America seceded from the Union after 85 years of independence. That means after 85 years of independence, the southern states got themselves separated from the Union. A war began to keep the integrity and unity of the nation intact. Intact means entirely or completely. This was the American Civil War. It was the most serious disaster the United States had ever faced. Disaster means an event which causes great damage or loss of life. It put the United States into a political crisis and caused the death of more than 6 lakh Americans. Crisis means trouble or danger. Means this civil war caused lot of destruction in America. So many political crises were faced by the people of America and it also affected the economy of America very badly. It affected the southern economy so badly that its recovery took half a century. Therefore, it is important to understand the civil war, its causes, its dominant personalities, its outcome and its long-lasting effects. Outcome means results and effects means influences. Now, let us read and discuss the causes of the American Civil War. Causes of the American Civil War There were many reasons that led to American Civil War. Some of them are as follows. Conflicting economic interests Conflicting means clashing. The United States achieved great progress after independence. The two parts, the southern and the northern, followed different paths of development. Means both were developing but the path of both were different. If we'll talk about the northern states, northern states had large manufacturing units as well as industries. And they looked for government policies which promoted the strong industrial economy. And on the other hand, if we'll talk about the southern states, the southern states had large plantations of the cash crops. The states in the north had large manufacturing units and industries. Manufacturing means making of articles on a large scale. And industries means a place where raw material is converted into a finished or final product. They developed townships, cities, communication network and transportation. That means overall the northern states of America were industrially advanced as there were large industries and they had about 20,000 miles railway lines in their own area. And because of industrialization, there was urbanization too and they had developed a large network of transportation as well as communication. The southern states developed agriculture. They had large-scale farming of cash crops like cotton, tobacco and sugarcane. Cash crops are the commercial crops which are grown to be sold in the market for gaining the profit. The increased production of these crops required more labor. The available source of cheap labor were slaves. They were brought from Africa and were forced to work in the fields. So, in the southern states, main focus was on the agriculture part as many of the cash crops were grown over there and the cotton was in great demand in America because of the establishment of great number of textile mills. So for growing cotton and other cash crops, more workers were required and these workers were brought from Africa and they were given less wages and they were forced to work in the fields. Northern states tried to develop transport and communication facilities. These were required to support their industrial growth. However, the southern states opposed it as it affected the fertility of the soil. That means the northern states wanted to develop a large network of transport as well as communication as it was necessary for the industrial growth. But on the other hand, southern states totally disagreed it as it was affecting the fertility of the soil. So overall we can say that industry and finance dominated the north 
and the south concentrated on farming in particular on the production of cotton tobacco and sugar for exports to europe so the economic interest was one of the first cause of the american civil war the next cause the issue of tariff issue means matter tariff means tax paid on import or export the northern and southern states also clashed over the issue of tariff the industries of northern states were flourishing that means developing they wanted to protect them from competition from foreign industries therefore they favored high tariff on foreign goods the high tariff made foreign goods more expensive that means costly the northern states put the taxes on import and export of the foreign goods but the southern states pitched for lower tariffs pitched means demanded they imported many goods from foreign countries that means the southern states brought many goods into a country from foreign for sale so they didn't want the tax to be paid on the import and export of the foreign goods any rise in tariff made their imports costlier the protective tariffs were raised on many occasions protective tariffs means a tax imposed on imports to raise their prices making them less attractive to consumers and thus protecting domestic industries from foreign competition that means the northern states wanted to grow at any cost so they were raising the tax on import and export of the goods the southern states felt that the northern states wanted to grow at their cost this caused agitation among the southern states agitation means anxiety so overall we can say that the northern states favored raising high tariff to protect their new growing industries on the other hand the agricultural southern states opposed new tariffs because this would make goods costlier the feeling between northern states and the southern states ran high on the question of tariff the next cause states rights now before talking about states rights we must know that during the american civil war there was a federal government in america federal government means a government in which there is both the central and the state government and the states rights are the rights and powers held by individual states rather than by a federal government the idea of states rights was not new to the civil war since the constitution was first written there had been arguments about how much powers the states should have versus how much power the federal government should have the southern states felt that the federal government was taking away their rights and powers the question of states rights further enhanced the rift between the two states enhanced means increased and rift means split the southern states favored the right of individual states they said that the decision to continue or secede from the union should be with the states secede means separate however the northern states favored the union as one nation they stated no one has the right to quit the U- union means the southern states wanted the right of individual states and they wanted that decision to leave or to continue from the union should be with the states only but on the other hand the northern states favored the union as one nation and according to the northern states no one has the right to leave the union so we can conclude that the southern states wanted to assert their authority over the federal government so they could abolish federal laws they didn't support especially laws interfering with the south's right to keep slaves and take them wherever they wished now i hope the first three causes of the american civil war are clear to you and your today's homework is to learn the related terms and try to solve the related back exercises